I'm also, uh, for no reason other than I can, also blaming Kenny G for this. <laughs> Kenny G, only saxophone I've never played. The, the soprano saxophone that Kenny G primarily played. <laughs> Kenny G, fun fact, Kenny G is not a saxophone. It's a human being. <laughs> All right, it is 6.52 on this morning radio show that plays games. Time for birthdays. If you have a birthday to celebrate, except if you're Keith Anthony's brother, let us know because we would like to celebrate with you. Except you, Keith Anthony. All right, uh, let's start with some celebrity birthdays. I don't have any audience birthdays to share with you this morning, but we can tell you that, in fact, musician Kenny G turned 67. Ah, what a beast. Um, fun fact, he once appeared in an episode of Bill Nye the Science Guy. Oh, okay. it says Bill Nye the Science Guide. No. This science Guide. I don't know. Please don't tell me that that's just a typo. There's got maybe Bill Nye had a second story, a uh, second uh, show. Uh, doesn't look like it. Don't you remember uh, that uh, wonderful spinoff, a Bill Nye the Science Guide? Huh. Stand by. All right, I'm I'm looking too. I am finding some things labeled Bill Nye the Science Guide. But it's like a Bill Nye video worksheet. <laughs> I don't think that's what they're talking about. I think it's just a typo. Oh. All right. Give give Cleveland.com the same treatment we gave Keith Anthony's brother. Deservedly. It's true, confirmed. Cleveland.com would change someone's username if they were logged in to Twitch on their computer. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm very quickly glancing even through like the Wikipedia. I cannot find yeah. a search match no. for the word guide. So No, it doesn't seem like that's the case. I'm also uh for no reason other than I can also blaming Kenny G for this. <laughs> Kenny G, only saxophone I've never played. The, the soprano saxophone that Kenny G primarily played. <laughs> Kenny G, f fun fact, Kenny G is not a saxophone. It's a human being. <laughs> uh, actor Ron Livingston turns 56 today. He's originally from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Uh, what's Cedar Rapids, Iowa famous for? Uh, don't they have a, uh, like a, an amusement park? It's a great question, Sean. According to a very rapid Google search, Cedar Rapids. A Cedar, a Cedar Rapids Google search? <laughs> yes. Cedar Rapid Rapids. No. <laughs> Cedar Rapids Rapid Google search. Uh, it's home to almost 300 different manufacturing plants and two dozen Fortune 500 companies. Great. Oh, you you must be thinking of, you know, the second largest city in Iowa that's definitely known as the City of Five Seasons. Oh, yeah. Yeah, big time. If you ever find yourself yeah. there, be sure to check out the National Czech and Slovak Museum and Library. And the Cedar Rapids Museum of Art, which includes many works by native Iowan painter Grant Wood. Just a side uh, exhibit for Ron Livingston, I'm sure. Uh, singer Brian McKnight, You're Like a Dream Come True, turns 54 today. Uh, his middle name is Kelly. B. Kelly McKnight. Brian McKnight is the one who sang You're Like a Dream Come True, right? Yes, back yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't worried about it at all. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, today, Mark Wahlberg, the actor, turns 52. Mark Wahlberg owns multiple car dealerships in Ohio. It's <laughs> a good fun fact. Hey there. 
I'm Mark Wahlberg. You might remember me from certain shows like Daddy's Home and other movies I've been in like Ted. Just reminding myself. Are you looking for a new Chrysler? Well, come on down to Marky Mark's Chrysler and Emporium in Ohio. We've got an overstock of inventory. And we're looking to pass that on to you. Oh, yeah, look at this. Mark Wahlberg Chevrolet. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I know there's lots of, not necessarily just uh, <laughs> celebrities, but there's, you know, basketball players that have, you know, car dealerships. John Elway had famously a lot of car dealerships in Denver. So I know that that's like a common business thing. I just didn't expect Marky Mark to have them in Ohio. Nope. Nope. Where, where's Mark Wahlberg from, though? Maybe Mark's from Ohio, for all I know. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Let's, uh, let's see. Stand by. Like, like we said, we were so we were planning to solve lots of mysteries in this mystery machine of a show that we have. So, forgive uh, us for taking time. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg, born in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's not Ohio. Uh, today, actress Lisa Liza Wheel turns 46. Fun fact. Uh, she's appeared in episodes of Westworld and The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Uh, lightning round. Have you watched The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel? No. No. Neither have I. Have you watched Westworld? Yes. No. No. All right. So you, you, would, you would know exactly the character, but... Unfortunately, we're, we're running out of time. We can tell you, though, uh, much like we had a recent drummer birthday from this band. Today, rocker Pete Wentz turns 44. And his grandfather was a U.S. ambassador. Can know what country? Nope. Okay. It's unknowable, that information. It's classified. Now, what about actress... Amanda Crew turns 37 today. One of her first TV show appearances was an episode of Smallville. Uh, I've seen very many parts of Smallville. Yeah, I've seen lots of Smallville. Smallville was, uh, yeah, it was on quite a bit in my uh, my household. You want to know what character Smallville Wiki tells me that Amanda Crew played? I sure do. Played Monique's roommate. Oh, yeah. Wow. Who's Moni? Uh, we'll never know. <laughs> but apparently Amanda Crew was a sorority girl and Monique's roommate. Uh, this episode aired, though, in uh, season four. It was episode 13. Would you like to know the plot summary to Smallville episode titled Recruit? Uh, sure. All right, here we go. Here's the plot summary for that said episode. According to IMDb, Shiro says, Clark is wooed by the offer of a football scholarship from Metropolis University, but faces a dilemma over whether he should accept knowing he has such an advantage on the field because of his superpowers. Meanwhile, Lois is implicated in the death of a former member of the Metropolis University football team, which leads Clark to investigate to clear Lois, in which they suspect that the team's idol named Geoff Johns may hold a clue. Elsewhere, Lex tries to persuade Lana that Jason's mom had ordered him to try to break her and Jason up for mysterious reasons. Season 4, episode 15, 13, 13. Recruit. In that episode, Clark meets Monique's roommate, played by Amanda Crew. So, there you go. Nice. We've got a drummer birthday!
We have two drummer birthdays today. We have Nico McBrain of Iron Maiden. What? Who's 71? I mean, that's his name. B R A I N, McBrain. What are we going to do this tonight, Pinky? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's 71. And jazz drummer Peter Erkstein of Steps Ahead and Weather Report, who is 69. Oh, nice. <laughs> what are we going to do tonight, McBrain? Nice. <laughs> Same thing we do every day, Pinky. Uh, we got to hustle, but uh, we can't tell you. Bassist Peanut of 311 is 49. 